If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. If you use QuickBooks and subscribe to the QuickBooks Enhanced Payroll Service, you can take advantage of the Workers' Compensation Tracking feature to manage tracking workers' compensation hours and make the required payments. You must, however, set up the Workers' Compensation feature before you run a payroll. If you do not, the information may be inaccurate or incomplete. Also, this feature must be enabled at the beginning of the Insurance Policy Coverage Year to completely track the information within QuickBooks. There is no way to enter year-to-date data if starting in the middle of the insurance coverage year. In that case, you must combine the data in QuickBooks with any information you have manually tracked to get the correct totals for the year. When you first sign up for QuickBooks Enhanced Payroll, the Workers' Compensation feature is not enabled. To turn it on, select Edit, Preferences from the menu bar to launch the Preferences dialog box where you can select the Payroll and Employees icon from the list at the left side of the dialog box. Then click the Company Preferences tab at the right side of the dialog box and click the Workers' Compensation button within this tab to open the Workers' Comp Preferences dialog box. Place a check mark into the Track Workers' Comp checkbox to enable that feature. You can also check the Display Message to Assign Codes checkbox to enable a classification prompt when entering employee hours into the Pay Employees or Time Tracking windows. You can also check the Exclude Overtime Premium from Workers' Comp Calculation checkbox if your Workers' Compensation Insurance Company directs you to treat all overtime hours as if they were paid at the regular wage rate. After setting the desired options, click the OK button to return to the Preferences dialog box. Then click the OK button in the Preferences dialog box to save the change to the company preferences. Now you must continue to set up workers' compensation tracking by using the workers' compensation setup wizard. To open this wizard, select Employees, Workers' Compensation, Manually Track Existing Workers' Comp Policy from the menu bar. The first screen displays information you need to complete the wizard and you can gather that information from your insurance company if necessary. Then enter the information into the screens and click the next button to move through the wizard. After you have set up the employees and what codes they are assigned by default, you can issue paychecks as normal and the worker's compensation will be accrued as you issue paychecks. If you assign a default worker's compensation code to an employee, that code will be used by default when issuing paychecks or entering hours in a timesheet. However, you can change the code used for any earning line items in these windows if needed. You can view the worker's compensation information in the preview paycheck window as you review the employee paychecks. When it comes time to pay the workers' compensation premiums, you can first run a workers' compensation report by selecting Reports, Employees and Payroll, Workers' Comp Detail from the menu bar. You can verify the amount to pay and where it came from by using this report. Since workers' compensation is tracked as a payroll liability, you can pay the premium using the Pay Liabilities window to create the liability check. You can also create and modify the codes used for workers' compensation classification in the workers' comp list. You can open this list by selecting Lists, Workers' Comp List from the menu bar when you have workers' compensation tracking enabled. You can set up new codes and enter and edit experience modification factors used for calculations if necessary. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.